Welcome back to another reaction. Um, this time I'm going to do some British foods. Uh, check out, see what uh, what they have out there in the UK. Um, I've seen some stuff. Look, it's a it's kind of a joke, British food in America. Um, I know you guys have your jokes with us, and uh, we got like everything's way too big, or it's got you know obviously banned uh, ingredients, or it's um, overly uh, sugared or etc. Um, but the joke in America about uh, Britain is that uh, you know they they're they're all bland. There's no flavor. <laughs> um, you know, my son has a British girlfriend, and we we sort of make fun of him. <laughs> so uh, you know, we 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 tell him we're not going to season his dinner anymore. He's just, <laughs> he's just uh, he's going to get used to the bland food for when he gets married. So. <laughs> Um, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and uh, check this out. Let's, let's check out this British food, all right? With you 30 British foods, which you can basically only get here in the UK. This first one you're looking at is called Toad in the Hole. Now, what? this is effectively sausages in a big plate of batter, so it's all baked together. The batter I mean, is your usual flour, eggs, milk, whatever. Yeah, that looks and good. And you put sausages in there, bang it in the oven, have it with some gravy. Bubble and squeak. This what? is traditionally made with the leftovers of a roast dinner and it's effectively like potato, cabbage and some other sprouts. You can put whatever you want. In hey, that looks good. But the name of some of these things, uh, bubble and squeak, what the hell is that supposed to mean? Right? <laughs> um, so far, I mean, I don't know about the jelly over there. That's, that's kind of, we only like it like PB&J, like peanut butter jelly sandwiches and and stuff like that you you got jelly over there right and you probably call it something else too but it's jelly all right in america that's jelly um we got like jam and jelly and that's jelly <laughs> all right let's, let's keep looking yeah, but you take all your leftover potatoes and vegetables from your your meal the, the the you know the day before and you 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 put them all together and cook it faggots these are faggots oh. <laughs> and very popular in the uk at least uh certainly in the midlands and a couple of other places look i don't know if that's uh the name of it. i heard you guys got uh <laughs> something similar that you're using for like cigarettes um we just call them cigs or cigarettes in america um hell i don't even know anybody really that uh smokes them still but uh <laughs> but you you straight up use the whole word okay i've got no problem with but uh, some people in America do whatever. <laughs> but uh, that's a that's a that's an interesting name for a food. Okay, I thought it was an interesting name for a cigarette, but that's extra. And they're kind of like meatballs, but more pork. It's like the offal. It's all the remains of the pig that nobody wants, and you put them in a meatball and have them with some chips. And that's some, how you make hot some, dogs. Uh, peas. It's called faggots. <laughs> this is haggis. I'm sure you've all heard of uh, this. The Scottish dish. It's made from sheep's heart, liver and lungs and traditionally it's like a testicle inside the, uh, the sheep's stomach. You put oatmeal and spices with it and some soup. I've heard and bad again, things Pretty tasty. Testicles. Pretty tasty stuff. I don't want to This is try a roast it. dinner and we eat a hey. lot of roast dinners. This one is actually from Toby Carvery. Which... Uh, no, no. This is Thanksgiving dinner. This is American Thanksgiving dinner right here. Okay. You get turkey. You get you get your mashed potatoes, gravy. Um, you can have ham. We don't usually have both. We usually have one or the other. And most, uh, well, I don't know um, what people that grew up with a silver spoon, but, um, you know, the lower class, uh, when you grow up poor, you're going to have ham or you're going to have turkey, not both, and definitely not any of the, like the beef roast, the crown roast and stuff like that, or um, the filets, the filet mignon roast. Tenderloin, um, but yeah, this is looking like uh, with the potatoes, and you'll have some biscuits. Uh, you people call uh, biscuits cookie or cookies biscuits, but we're talking actual biscuits, like fluffy, you know, they're bread biscuits. Um, but we have that to sop up the gravy and and all that. We'll have some uh, veggies um, and stuffing. Um, you probably call it like uh, dressing or something. There's some people here also that are like, uh, you know, <laughs> we don't take offense. All right. So we, we call them uh, snobby, um, <laughs> but uh, they, they call us and, and depend on where you are in the country. But where I'm from, we consider those people, you know, snobby. 
Uh, we call it just uh, stuffing. It's the, it's the breading that you shove in the turkey's ass or you make stovetop um, and stuff like that. It's basically a Thanksgiving uh, dinner in America. I happen to love and it's uh, you know you fill up your plate as much as you get you can get as many different um, veg and meats and things as you want and this is a very very classic British meal which I'll we eat, eat a lot of in England this is a Yorkshire pudding British thing yeah it's like batter you have it with a roast dinner it soaks up the gravy and it's really tasty sometimes they'll even serve you your roast dinner inside a Yorkshire pudding Interesting. steak and kidney pie classic UK dish make a pie uh, put some steak put some know. kidney in there serve it with some veg Bangers and mash, again, recurring theme here. Sausages, Sausage and potatoes, mashed veg, potatoes. gravy, gravy. Yeah. so much gravy. Good. It's thick, it's dark, it's delicious. And if it's going to be gravy, it has to be Bisto. Bisto uh, is the uh, classic UK gravy. It's been around for 100 years. They know what they're doing. It says it on the can. You just add boiling water and it's delicious. If you do live abroad, then you probably will struggle to find this unless you go to like a we'll special gravy. Like, imported right. UK food. Different kind of gravies here. Cornish uh, pasty, as the name suggests, famous in the southwest of the UK and Cornwall well and uh, yeah you got meat you got potatoes you got onions mm, delicious all baked in this pastry traditionally the reason it has a thick crust over the top is because the cornish miners would take the pasty they'd have yeah you guys call them like pasties all right they're just pastries <laughs> to us uh, that's all they are dirty coal covered fingers that hold the crust with their fingers they'd eat the rest of the pasty and they throw the crust away because it's by now covered in coal jellied eels uh wait a what? minute jellied eels yes that's right these are eels in jelly eels as in thabin al-bahar like the long snake-like fish and you put them in some stock you boil it all up with spicy they they look like um just uh like gummy worms uh is that not what that is it's basically gummy worms or is that an actual eel that look like gummy worms <laughs> No thanks on the eel. I'll take the gummy worms, right? The, um, like stock, and then you allow it to cool, and it's eaten cold, and you get these eels, which are in jelly. It's very famous in East London. It's not that particularly particularly common across the whole of the UK, but certainly East London, you'll get it, and places like Essex, South End, perhaps, Margate. Crumpets. Oh, I do love a good crumpet. Look at those knobs of butter just melting on that crumpet. We love crumpets. We have them for breakfast, lunch, dinner, or as like a, a snack, and they're really tasty. Yeah, we have some one, similar. Yes, I love. Oh, I love you. I just realised it says I love crumpets. you, but yeah, it's marmite. You can just tell muffins. by the logo. Marmite is like yeast extract. It's very high in B vitamins. And uh, if you're Australian, you might call it Vegemite, or like if you're a Kiwi, probably they have it there too. But Marmite is a very famous UK brand, and uh, as far as I know, like you don't really see it in many other countries. This is malt loaf, and I used to grow up on this stuff. It's like very energy rich. Quite healthy because it's very high in fiber. It's like a loaf of bread. It's like sticky bread, but very starchy and kind of sweet as well. And it looks like this in the wrapper. And you can have butter with it. You can toast it. And you it can might be interesting. It's really good for energy. It so looks like uh, hiking or something. Looks like raisin bread. Like we have a raisin bread that's very similar here. Um, and of course, you can make it with some brown sugar. You can make it sticky and all that good stuff. And you need to do, be doing lots of walking, lots of energy demanding tasks. This is spotted dick. Hey, so spotted dick. Spotted. Be okay, before they go any further. <laughs> All right, let's let's just get something straight. You come to America, you tell someone you're bringing your spotted dick. First thing, you're not going to get laid. All right, there's not a woman that's going to let you put that anywhere near her. All right, she's going to think you got a nutty buddy. All right, she's going to tell you to. You know, give you a number to a specialist. You can see a doctor, right? <laughs> you, you, you got an STD if you got spotted dick, right? I'm telling you right now. But uh, this does not I look like something I want. <laughs> because it's got raisins in it and dick. Because uh, German for thick is dick. <laughs> so uh, spotted dick. Hold on. You have it. I have to pause. German for thick is dick, all right? That's what he said. So it's, it's, it's raisin dick, all right? Raisin thick dick. <laughs> uh, good thing I'm not monetizing this video because uh, I wouldn't be for long. <laughs> of course, with custard in a nice big bowl. 
which brings me on to custard. Now, custard, like other countries call custard different things, so you might get custard, you know, in like the US, but it's more like a white sauce, like proper UK custard looks like this. It's from Devon, which again is the southwest of England. Devon custard is creamy, it's full of milk. It's like really good and it's ah, simple, you can just that's eat what it custard by itself. Is. I'm not Here talking custard like is in the custard you find in the donut. This stuff is completely different. Cream tea. A cream tea is scones with jam and cream and tea. Cream tea. Scones, these are scones, jam uh, and cream. Uh, cream I'm tea. Clotted kind of, cream is something you only get in the UK. Uh, so I'm kind of putting this all into one. Clotted right. cream, very, very thick cream very British and we absolutely love a cream tea in England. Jammy Dodgers, Hobnobs, Custard Creams. You don't get these biscuits in other countries. Jammy Dodgers, cookies. Hobnobs and Custard Creams. Absolutely nah, that's delicious. Not true. You can dip them in. The, the one over there on the bottom right um, and the one on the bottom left, hell, even the one second to the to the right on the bottom, um, I mean, they look like cookies you can get here um the one on the bottom right is a little less common but that looks like a chocolate chip cookie right there next to it and then the one on the left looks like just a regular uh cookie um and i don't know that up on top is shaped more like a donut but obviously i mean it's and even the one on the bottom in this on the second uh from the left is um it looks just like a regular cookie and then there's a butter cookie in the middle on the top, and then on the on next to that, uh, maybe a brown sugar cookie of some sort. I mean, that's what it looks like. It just looks like cookies, and we got a lot of variations of cookies out here. So, and this looks like them, just to let you know. Tea, and if anything happens to custard creams, like there was once outrage because they changed the recipe. I think a supermarket like changed the recipe for custard creams, and they weren't dipping so well. So, yeah, that was a big deal in England. This is an Eton mess and supposedly made famous in the famous school Eton. It's cream, it's strawberries, it's meringue made from egg whites and it's like a dessert so it's quite tasty. Sticky toffee pudding, it's sweet, it's sticky, it's toffee, it's pudding. Yeah, have it with ice cream and some caramel sauce. You'll get this in every single pub and restaurant in That's the UK it. guaranteed. Cheese and pickle sandwich, oh I love a cheese and pickle no. sandwich. No! I thought I might make myself a nice little cheese what and pickle sandwich that? for me ding dings. Mm. Love, nice that little jelly? cheese and pickle sandwich for your ding dings. I am partial to a nice little cheese and pickle sandwich, Harry. Yeah, I grew up on these. Pickle oh, and cheese in a sandwich. That doesn't look like pickles, right? It was just cheese and pickles. That looks like some sort of jelly or some shit. And uh, that's not... Uh, I, I just don't know, guys. I, uh, I really don't know about this one. It's got to be Branson Pickle, of course. And yeah, that's the best brand. It's delicious, you know, that we love Branson Pickle to the point where if you go to a music festival or any kind of big event, you will see a Branson stool just there. Like, I would like, come and get some free pickle. Speaking right. of cheese, um, national dish of Wales is the Welsh Rabbit. So basically cheese on toast, one. but technically it's like a cheese sauce. So you get the cheese, make it into a sauce and you put it over some nice, uh, nice fancy bread. I Full like English, my cheese. No. English breakfast, you've all had one. No. That's what it looks like. Look, I got a problem with you guys and your beans, all right? Um, we, we just can't do it. We're, we're, um, when you think beans, you think sitting around a campfire, just ripping some good old farts, um, you know, pork and beans. <laughs> but it's not going to be on your breakfast. It's not going to be your daily breakfast or even a random breakfast. It's just not, it's just not something we put in a breakfast. It's like something you've been... When you when you just lazy and you don't want to cook, we'll we'll make like a you know like a pork and beans with a sausage or something. But it's not um, it's not as common as as what you guys uh, are gonna do. Um, if you're off grid, it might be easy to cook that over a fire. You know, some pork and beans. That's basically what that is. It looks like pork and beans. Um, Obviously, you can have beans without the pork, but still, it's not. It's just not going to be as as good. It's like that 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 sauce. Um, it's like one of those things that's not really palatable on a regular basis. You know what I mean? Um, and it's bland. So, like a really good uh, pork and beans is going to be a little tangy, like a barbecue sauce almost, and it's going to have chunks of uh, 
bacon or ham um, with the beans, and it's it's not going to be. Uh, I I just don't know, but it's not going to be a daily thing. All I know is it's going to be like campfires and and, and reserved for, uh, you know, days where you want to break. It's like it's delicious. You get egg, sausage, bacon, beans, tomatoes, hash brown, mushrooms, the lot, and of course black pudding. Black oh. pudding is congealed pig's blood. It's no, very nutrient rich. It's supposedly a superfood. It's got a lot of um, I'll nutrients, stick to the bacon, like protein, and lots of ham. vitamins and minerals, minerals and things. Yes, it's pig's blood. It's Pork very chops. rich. It's got a very rich flavour. So you can't really like nosh down like twelve of these things. You want to have like just maybe one of those little slices, and you need a lot of slightly more savory uh, less rich foods to kind of eat it with because it's so filling you eat it and you kind of feel really quite full you might even feel sick yeah that's part why. of the english breakfast is of course no. heinz baked beans heinz no. thinks a pittsburgh company but we love it in england i don't know if it's always been pittsburgh maybe someone can correct me on that in the comments but yeah heinz baked beans and we have baked beans a lot you can't really get them in lots of other countries but in england you get baked beans on toast you get baked beans with cheese yeah you get them trust eggs. me they're very common out here beans. we don't want baked them beans with everything it's take them in please the high in protein high in fiber and i want some beans now HP sauce, aka brown sauce, delicious on an English breakfast once again. It's, it's hard to describe the taste. It's kind of vinegary, but it's really tasty. It's better than ketchup. Yeah, it looks like barbecue sauce. A little bit, different, little bit of a, a change lot of to your typical ketchup mayo barbecue sauce. It's quite unique. And of course, Big Ben's on the front there. Scotch eggs. So we take an egg, we wrap it in sausage meat, and then cover it in breadcrumbs and call it a scotch egg. And uh, yeah, they're delicious as a snack. You can have them for lunch. You can buy them in supermarkets next to the sandwiches and the wraps and the sushi. You find some scotch eggs. What did you get? I got a tuna and mayo sandwich. What did you get? I got a, a chicken wrap. What did you get? I got a couple of scotch eggs. You know, like that's pretty classic. Mushy peas. These are mushy peas, and oh, how good do they look? They're basically mm -hmm. peas mashed up together with some salt and some sugar. I mean, I like the peas. There's lots of liquid in there. But mushy. You can kind of. They're like thick. They're thick. You can't drink them, but they're like very moist, very thick. And really I'm not tasty. against you can it. Dip your chips in them. But it's not a, it's a texture. You get any no. chippy, you get them in a chip shop, and they go really well with, of course, number thirty, fish and chips. Yeah, that's that's common here, but it's not as common as other American foods. Um, yeah, there's uh, some surprising things on there. Is that you got jelly in places where it doesn't belong. Okay, um, including eel, apparently. Um, they definitely look like gummy worms. Uh, <laughs> we like our gummy worms. Um, the spotted dick, guys, that do not say spotted dick out here. I'm telling you, you will not have sex with an American. Um, they're just gonna, they're just gonna be questioning you. They're gonna, they're gonna make you get tested. Um, and the beans, there's, there's way too many beans. And we got beans up the ass, and we don't want them. Um, there's probably there's, there's some outliers that like them, but uh, it's just, it's too much. Like, um, And then when you do get beans um, on a rare occasions, you want it to be just that right amount of, of sweet tang to it, like a barbecue sauce. Um, but there's some really bland ass beans that look just like the, the British breakfast and it's, it's absolutely disgusting. It's like, um, it's like beans boiled in snot. Um, I, I don't know how to, I really don't know how to say it. Uh, you know, I'm hoping you're not eating it when I'm, when I'm talking about this, but that's, uh, my view of it. So, um, it is what it is. Everybody's got their opinion. <laughs> Uh, there were some things I do uh, I do like on there the the um, Scottish egg. Um, there was the, uh, the the Thanksgiving dinner basically, um, and, and and you guys treat it more of a uh, year round thing it, it appears. Um, doesn't look like everything's bland except for your beans, um, but there are definitely some questionable items on that list um, that I really don't have a desire to try. Um, there's some that I do, so, and there's some that we do eat. Um, those those cookies, um, you you call them biscuits, but we, <laughs> you know, when we think biscuits, we're making those pillberry, um, you know, things that grow into a, like a fluffy biscuit. Um, not sure what you call those, but uh, maybe you can let me know in a, in the uh, comments below.
Anyway, hit like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification. See when I come out with another one. I'll see you in the next one.